uh, circuits okay so we have here the current so just a quick review lang so current is again the flow of charges and then the current has a formula or has an expression equal to how many charges are flowing in a certain area per unit time okay so because of that formulation of current we know that the si unit of current is ampere which is equivalent to one column per second okay so uh, i also discuss about the conventional current which again we have to assign the current as the same direction as the flow of positive charges we are in case the electrons are the one that is moving or what they call as the mobile charge okay so even though we assign the current the same direction as the flow of positive charges but we know that for every uh flow of positive charges there is an equivalent flow of an, a negative charges so basically they have the same current so ang ilahang mahatag na current is still the same okay this is just only for convention then for the microscopic we already know what is the another uh, expression for current other than q over t so the uh, average current in terms of the velocity of the uh, mobile charges inside a certain volume assuming that your wire is uh, has a cross-sectional area a okay so that is uniform along a wire and then we know that the average current is equal to this one okay with respect sa muhang uh, drift velocity okay so again the drift speed or the drift velocity are uh, actually the uh, kanang speed of the electron or the mobile charges once nga you apply an electric field or apply potential difference between uh, the wires so the electrons will move at a drift speed so typically in a magnitude of 10 raised to negative 4 so usually but we know that even though gamay ang drift speed the electrons can uh, the electrons are available everywhere Diba? So even though when when we turn on uh, we, when we turn on our switch, so it will give us light because of the fact instantly give us light because the electrons are available everywhere. So even though gamay kayo ang speed sa yung electron, so at the tip palang sa filament sa yung bulb daan na na siya electrons that available diha. So a uh, counting push lang ng electrons, uh, then the the bulb will now light up. Okay, so this the message nga uh na marelay sa mga electron the tip of the filament from the outlet is like uh approximately the speed of light so paspas -pas kayo ang ang relay of message so that is why na paspas -pas kayo ang pag on sa atong light okay so mo ang gitawag nga drift speed then since current is not a vector quantity so even though current is has two has only two directions so we cannot uh let our current to be a vector quantity because it does not have an any vector property sa iyaha so that is why we need another quantity which basically the uh we can say nga siya ang murag vectorial property sa imuhang current so that is the current density so current density is defined as the current per unit area okay so the current density inside the a wire is uniform and the cross-sectional area put is uniform and always perpendicular to the direction of the current now since current density is a vector quantity so the current density is uh must be kanang described using its direction put but for this for this formulation that the current density is uh, directly proportional to the drift speed of the electron or the moving charges so the actually the current density is always in the same direction as your electric field okay so as you can see here a uh, current density is the direction of the charge motion for a positive charge yeah because the electric field is uh, in the same direction as your positive charge diba? Kung, uh, as you can see here sa to ang a conventional current tapos ang imuhang drift velocity will be opposite direction sa imuhang electric field if negative siya 
Okay, so still the same na imuhang current density is in the same direction as your electric field. That is why we have another expression for the uh, current density which is proportional to the electric field inside the Y. Okay, so actually kaning J is equal to sigma E is the actual Ohm's law, the general equation for Ohm's law and not the unknown uh, R is equal to V over I. So we can actually get this relationship but kanigid siya ang pinakamain kanang j is equal to sigma e okay where sigma is actually the conductivity of the conductor and it is depend on the materia okay it does not depend on the geometry of the circuit or the wire or, and so on but it only depends on the material use it could be silver copper nichrome and so on okay so this is just the formulation of the known uh, Ohm's law na R is equal to V over I and we know that R is just equal to as uh, L sigma over A where 1 over sigma is your resistivity. Okay? So due to this relationship uh, the the resistance depends on the geometry and the resistivity depends on the material. Okay? And there, there's no such thing as ideal conductor at saka ideal insulator. Kasi we already know in real uh, real world, uh, there's an, a conductor always has a resistivity and an insulator always has conductivity. So even though small kayong conductivity niya, at least nagyapun siya conductivity. So not totally zero good ang conductivity sa yung insulator. Okay? So the... The materials that follows Ohm's law is actually called the ohmic. And the materials that does not follow Ohm's law is the non-ohmic. So basically, if your current density is proportional to the field, then we have an ohmic material. But if na a complicated relationship between J and chaka E, then the material is said to be non-ohmic. Okay? So as you can see here, the, the V and I, so VI has a slope of 1 over R, which means that there is a linear relationship between current and voltage so unlike sa imuhang ohmic material so yeah and then also not just the resistance uh dependent on the length and the area of the wire but also for the temperature okay so this one is actually from the given uh, assuming that the change in temperature is very small lang siya okay because if dili man siya very small man good na possibility nga uh, nay other factors din na yung ibutang so which will not be in our uh, case uh, general physics okay we just have to stick with the temperature changes are very small okay then the resistance we already sa yung lab the resistance na to diba kay uh, we have a color banded na resistance so we already know how to read resistance and usually ang mga Sulod sa resistor are mga ceramics, uh, sa panay mga carbon, ay sulod sa carbon diha because they are high in resistivity. Okay? So usually sa mga resistance, kung imong katong resistor ni mo, imuhang ihiwaon. Okay? So yeah, basically more na siya. And then for the electromotive force or what we called as the voltage, basically the electromotive force is not the same as the terminal voltage. So Electromotive force is uh, comes from the non-electrostatic force, so denoted by epsilon, makes the current flow from high lower to higher potential. Okay, which is not the case because we know that the current always flow from higher to lower potential, but we need somewhat like a pump, okay, para mo move ang imuhang charges from higher to lower potential. Okay, so yeah, and then the the ideal source of EMF, so makita na tong ang terminal voltage is equal to epsilon. So ideal source meaning walay resistance inside the battery. Okay, na mong gui certain part nga sa tong battery. For example, uh, like the the motion of the charges inside the battery, it could be mag-collide sa other atoms or other electrons. So that is uh, some part of internal resistance. But for ideal source, there is no internal resistance, so therefore, the thermal voltage is equal to the electromotive force. So meaning that whatever voltage rating in a battery na gibutang dito, so 12 volts, 
So, yan pong capacity na yung ihatag na current is based on that 12 volts. Okay? But if ever nga na siya internal resistance, so this resistance will take all, uh, some of the energies in muhang EMF. Okay? So, for example, uh, if imo nang i-connect imong battery to a certain external circuit, so what will happen is the electromotive force is, I mean, the terminal voltage na yung ihatag is less than the EMF because na naman siya minus ER diri. Okay, so gikwaan naman og a uh, voltage ang imuhang uh, imong EMF. Assuming that the internal resistance inside the battery is uh, follows Ohm's law nga IR. Okay, so we have the voltage drop equal to this one. Okay? So makuan lang nimo ang imuhang thermal voltage na imuha siyang ma-maximize ang iyang capacity meaning that ang EMF nimo is equal to 5 volts. Gusto nimo ang thermal voltage is iya pong mahatag is 5 volts. So basically Um, the ideal source because this is uh, ideal man siya. So, nagin na siya internal resistance. So, by this equation lang daan, so you can always get a terminal voltage if your epsilon, I mean your current, I mean your current is zero, meaning that di mo siya i-connect sa external circuit. Which, of course, will not be the case okay? because what is the use of the battery if di na siya i-connect sa circuit, di ba? So, yeah. Basically, mo na siya. Yeah, so we have the power here. So power is defined as the rate at which the energy is delivered to circuit element. So we have the power equal to the terminal voltage times the current and the power input to resistor is equal to this one. And then the power output to a source, power input to a source. Then, yeah. So basically the the sa hang lab, di ba, you already know that <clears throat> there is a multimeter that can actually uh, ko, kanang kuhan ang current, di ba, yung i-measure ang current which is the actually the ammeter. So, the ammeter is as much as possible dapat kamay siya o resistance. Kaya nga naman, or in ideal ammeters kay R is equal to zero because dapat man ang flow of current is Okay, basig ang imong makuan nga current mabasa is not at uh, the approximate good or the accurate na current nga na flow dito sa imuhang circuit element or a certain resistor. And also for the EMF or the terminal voltage, uh, one way to to measure this one experimentally is using a voltmeter. So you already knew that one in your lab po, di ba? So voltmeter is actually the... Uh, coming from that the resistance is very very high meaning infinite in resistance because we don't need any voltage drop inside the voltmeter okay so dapat as much as possible imong resistance is very large inside the voltmeter because kung naaga ni current ka musulod sa iya ha what will happen is there is a voltage drop sa imong voltmeter so we cannot say uh, we cannot accurately or approximately measure the voltage across a certain circuit element Okay, so the connection of your voltmeter at saka ammeter is based on dito na din sa direct current circuits. Okay, so there are two ways to to find current voltage and resistance. There are two ways. So we have the reduction technique or the circuit reduction technique at saka ni Kirchhoff's law. Okay, so these are basically the two ways. Daghan kay siya og way. Okay, pero, pero we just have to kanang discuss the two ways, okay, because we are general physics men. Okay, so I know that you're already familiar with reduction technique, so what's new to you is actually the Kirchhoff's law. Okay, so reduction technique is basically, uh, you have to, you have to like, uh, distinguish series and parallel circuits, di ba? Okay, mamagin na siya ang uh, circuit, I mean, circuit reduction technique so anyway so before we are going to do with reduction technique we just have to uh, solve i kanang you know a uh, differentiate what is the difference between direct current circuits at saka alternating current okay so direct current is meaning that the direction of current does not change with time meaning uh, in a one direction again Okay, mo lang current circuit. So, usually, ang mga source of 
direct current circuits are batteries. Okay, these are direct current circuits. Now, sa alternating naman, mauna ang ginagamit sa itong mga household, these are the current changes direction periodically. Okay, so meaning that the current is now in the function of uh, time. Okay, current is now a function of uh, uh, cosine theta or cosine sine theta and so on. So, depende sa muhang alternating uh, current na involved. So, basically, V is not equal to V anymore in alternating current but as a function of sine. Tinan na siya function of sine theta kasi usually mga sine theta and cosine theta are functions that can uh, that can actually describe uh, systems that moves periodically. Diba ka ng mga sine theta, cosine theta or even the exponential nga I theta so, sa inyong math so these are the functions that can you know that can describe this current so anyway so we will not talk all about alternating current because gamay na kay tag time okay kay you know so we just have to focus with direct current so anyway so four resistors in series so we have this one resistors in series so if we connect two resistors with each other and then we have to connect this one to a battery so with a potential difference of delta v so the current uh na imong apply sa battery ay ang, ang pagawa sa battery is the same for two resistors na nag connect in series because whatever current na ni flow ni r1 is the same current na ni flow ni r2 okay so yeah you already know that one in your one put in your high school physics i know that one okay <laughs> 